Okay, so um, welcome back. Let's just get started where we left off. Um, add products to tags, right? That's what we are trying to do. Where tags that are types lists, right? So um, this tag, so for each tags in a particular, for, for each tag in a particular product, we are going to loop through each tags, right? Then after looping through each tags, all the tags, we are going to add the product ID, like, um, you know, to the end of the list. So for every product that's been added, if the tag exists in that particular product, we just need to add a product ID to, to that tag. So this would like help us when we are trying to um, retrieve our products in the, that has a particular tag. So tags that was passed, let me see. What tags that was oh Christ explode? That's what I'm supposed to do. It's an array. Yeah, so yeah, should work now. Add tags, such project to tags. Oh. I don't want to this. Guess we have new product. Add some them. Add tags, add products to tags. Add product tags and add product. Christ, this thing is confusing. <laughs> add product to tags, right? So, um, for each, I hope you're not confused. Confused, like I, I was almost confused. Tag and tag, right? So here's what we do. Release hard push tag for Right, so that's it. Hard push tags. So let's see if um, this method exists. So go right push. All right, that's it. So let's just go through this again. My own suggestion will stand up now. Get per ID, add new product, ID name, image, explore the tags that are separated by a comma, add all tags. As it says, add product to tags, add product tags, right? So, um, or let me just call this create product tags. It makes it sound better, not really. I almost get confused. Yeah, this is better. Add tags, create product tags. So, let's add a way product tags and add product to tags, right? So, Right, so um, let's go back to this. So if this is this, right? So now let us die and dump them. Right, it's for using. Now let's go back to um, the form. How this session is still valid. Control the find method exists. I think I'm gonna spell this wrong. Exists. Where is that? There is an X that's where exists. That's it. So let's go back. Right, done. So um I think this is what I should have this is what I should do before doing that. Let's go to already CLI. Already CLI. Let's go to keys. Check the keys. Alright, see. Uh, this is Brilliant. Now, um, 
you'd see we have this is a prefix Laravel database Laravel this is a prefix right so um this level here that's it that's the happening you change your happening your dot env to be water to be to be say change your happening to e-commerce to be e-commerce on us called database on us called main so I'm sure sometime there will be set out here so this is the prefix read this prefix is um string slug env app name and then you can just change it here if you want it to be represented on our so let's just go back to this see read this Database men, that is a list. The list, see, men. What else? What, what other tags do we have? Gene. What tags do we create? Men, gene, and then um, pants, right? So if I do um, L range, right? Zero to minus one. See, product ID is there. Database gene is there. And then we have um, this. What else? What else? Pants there, right? So um also for the tags tags are set so um s members tags will be here tags here that's its main pants and gene it's the data are just stored the way we want them to be stored right so they are there so um let's just um go ahead to right so we have this let's redirect to redirect to routes pro dot the browse right so product browser product browser where, where it takes us to is a um, view product so we need to be able to now create get the tags and products so tags is um what we have release um tags what well, was our tags our tags is um the sets so um what are you having our tags as set so um how do fetch our sets yes. And, uh, let's see that's the founders member source member this members returns the content of his set so as members tags right and then um, products because let's see so gets products so um, static function gets products what's our products to or us or that set so to get other sets we know we are going to have return release all assets is set cringe right that's it i think let's confirm again z range so z range yes returns element from an or that set right or that set yes 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 so that set or that set that's it so key starts and with course yeah we need this course too keys products starts zero and minus one so in this case while we are doing zero and minus one the case that we have a lot of products and then once you use pagination this way it comes in we just pass the start and end here and then follow so it's cost true we wanted to return this cost so we are going to return this for now products so what next we do say for each because this is just returning the id of the product so we need to get the exact products for each product as products I want this products ids for it products ids have products 
tadi Here, Zunti, Hidari, Azam score and ID because we are returning with score, so that's score and ID. So we say product score because now really each gets all. Remember. It's stored in Nash map, so each get all product product ID. Yep, they should do. Then return products. Right, so let's see, let's see, let's see what it returns. Let's turn down tags and then products. Let's see what we get. This should be products the whole. So let's all get right. We have one here and empty array. Why do we have empty array here? Let me inspect our keys. Let's return what this gives us. Each gets on. Yeah, it's giving me this. So what's happening? Let's see. How am I calling the wrong method? Let's not find the which get all the key. Which get all fruit dots. How did we see it? Let's turn on this, see what it gives us. Oops, I... Oh, mistake. This is um score. This brought ID and this is score. Yeah, I see. We should return this now. Right, it works now. This is the score, that's the timestamp, and then we have ID1 in this. So um, next will be next video will be displaying um, our products and then we'll be adding more products and displaying the tags. All right. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's move on to the next video.